What's up Raptors fans? Welcome to the Ward Report. I have some big news for you today. The Raptors apparently are trying to trade for Ben Simmons. Now we first heard this rumor a few weeks ago. I thought maybe it's just a case of, you know what, the Raptors picking up the phone, calling the 76ers, asking if Ben Simmons is available and that is it. But today we get more news and it was reported by Mark Stein who is a credible source. He's a well-known reporter around the NBA. So are the Raptors actually going to trade for Ben Simmons? Now this is not the only news that broke out this morning. There's some chatter around the league about Pascal Siakam. Now, it's not saying the Raptors are looking to trade Pascal Siakam, but making him available in trade talks if the right piece comes along. Now, this is being reported by multiple sources, not just one. It is not like last time, where it was just one American reporter talking about Pascal Siakam being a potential name he could see going to the Warriors, and then that rumor just blew up. This has been chatter around the league by multiple sources. So what does this mean for the Raptors? Are they going to blow it up? We've been hearing a lot of news about the Raptors in the NBA draft. Is this smokescreen? What is going on with the Raptors? Are they trying to trade for Ben Simmons? Are they trying to trade away Pascal Siakam? I'll break all of that down in today's video. But before we get into the details of the video, give this video a thumbs up. It helps reach more basketball fans like yourself. And also, guys, about 86% of you guys are watching my videos but aren't subscribing. So hit that subscribe button. It does help this channel grow a lot. It'd be very much appreciated. And I do give out shout outs to random subscribers as well. So for today's video, the shout out goes out to James Welsh. So thank you for supporting this channel. It is very much appreciated through your likes and comments. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now, I'm not going to lie. This one took me a little bit by surprise. I covered all of the reasons why I don't want the Raptors to trade for Ben Simmons. And now we hear this shattered this morning. Now, we know the 76ers are looking for an all-star back. And that is going to be really challenging to make that trade even. Let's, let's focus on the trade first before we start talking about why Ben Simmons is a good or bad asset to the Raptors. So when you talk about what they'd want in return, obviously someone like a Fred Van Vliet, potentially a Kyle and Laurie in a sign-in trade. Now, obviously, as a Raptors fan, I personally would not give up Fred Van Vliet for Ben Simmons. Say what you want. Fred Van Vliet has a lot of leadership skills. He's a great defensive player. And yes, so is Ben Simmons. But... Fred Van Vliet has that three-point shot as well, which is very important, especially with Pascal Siakam around. But now they're hearing rumors about Pascal Siakam as well. What does this mean for the Raptors? Are they trying to blow it up? Are they trying to throw a little bit of smokescreen? Maybe they have a trade in place with, you know what, one of those teams in the NBA draft order where they're offering certain players. And maybe this is just something to entice those teams to make a trade with the Raptors. But obviously, Ben Simmons, for several reasons, he would not be good with the Raptors. He can't shoot threes. And as I mentioned, Pascal Siakam's game is in the paint, so how would they work together? And there's been some suggestions by fans of, yes, you can play Ben Simmons at the center position. But personally, there's several reasons I don't like Ben Simmons on the Raptors. One of the main reasons, obviously, being his huge contract, which will pay him near $40 million by the end of his contract. And also just because someone mentioned this in my comment section, I forget who did, but thank you for uh, letting me know this. Apparently, his dad made him shoot with the left hand when apparently he is right-handed so this season this offseason Ben Simmons has apparently been trying to shoot with his right hand and I don't know how that's going to work out that is not a good thing if as a fan you don't want to hear those things because you're going to all of a sudden you've been playing basketball with your left hand now you're going to try and shoot with your right hand I don't know about that I don't see his three-point shot being improved it is a mental game but I don't see Ben Simmons improving a lot in three-point shooting so I don't want Ben Simmons on the Raptors for several reasons now let's move on to the next rumor which is Pascal Siakam being available in trade talks now why would the raptors do this is there something the raptors know that we don't is there something about pascal's injury perhaps we don't know is it more serious than we may think as raptors fans we know he's supposed to be back in october he's gonna miss about four or five weeks at the start of the nba season but maybe that injury is a little bit more serious than we know and maybe the raptors are trying to cover it up by trading him early before teams find out it could be one of those cases now i've talked about how masai Ujiri wants to win a championship I don't think trading Pascal Siakam away is going to help us win a championship unless we're acquiring an all-star Brack, and I just don't see that happening. There's contending teams out there who want Pascal Siakam for draft picks. Obviously, we've heard Golden State Warriors names in there, but I don't see how it makes sense for the Raptors to trade Pascal Siakam unless, like I said, unless there's something behind the scenes that we don't know about Pascal Siakam. Maybe it's his attitude. We saw him clash with Nick Nurse last season. Maybe it is his work ethic. We don't know. He seems like a really hard worker, and he did end up the season strong before he had those COVID protocols, and he is sitting out with injuries. So why would the Raptors trade him? Now, I think this may just be one of those cases. It could be a false rumor. We don't know because there's multiple sources saying this, but there's been that case in the past. I don't think the Raptors leak information. We know that as a Raptors fans for sure that the Raptors would never leak information like this. So 
Is this just a smokescreen? What are the Raptors doing? Are they, do they have a trade in place with one of those teams ahead of us in the NBA draft? Maybe they're using this just to leverage more from those teams or maybe give up less. We'll have to wait and find out. But there's been a lot of chatter about the Raptors news. It's been a crazy week and there's going to be a crazy week ahead. I do think there's going to be some big moves coming before the NBA draft or even on draft day. Maybe potentially the Raptors acquire an all-star. Maybe they move up in the NBA draft. We'll have to wait and see. But I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think the Raptors are about to do? Do you think Pascal Siakam should be traded? Do you think Ben Simmons should come to the Raptors? And what would you give up for Ben Simmons? Give me your reasons in the comment section. What do you think is going to happen on draft day? Give me your predictions. I think they might do something big. I could be wrong. I've predicted the last few things right about Kyle Lowry to the Pelicans. And also, I talked about before those rumors came up about Scotty Barnes potentially being someone the Raptors would definitely look to draft. And next day, we hear about the Raptors being very interested in Scotty Barnes. So let me know all of your predictions in the comment section. And if you guys are still watching this video, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.